Assalamu alaikum everyone. May the peace and blessings of Almighty God, Allah, be upon you always. Yesterday, subhanAllah, I was reading the Quran. Um, I forgot exactly which which verse or chapter, but anyway, I was reading the Quran and I realized something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, he, in the Quran, he was talking about like, um, you know, how we can um, uh, be happy, you know, um, and, and successful. So it mentioned, first it mentioned Salah or prayer, you know, the, 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 the Salah, the obligatory prayer. And, but right after the Salah was mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned dhikr, which is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he was basically saying that, that the dhikr is even greater than the Salah. Not, um, or, yeah, yeah, it's hard to explain, but, um, <laughs> so basically, um, you know, when we cannot pray for one reason or another, or, you know, in addition to the Salah, we find that dhikr actually f brings peace and tranquility and comfort to the soul. Let me let me just tell you something really quick here. Okay. Truly by the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does the heart find rest and tranquility remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala morning noon evening day and night make your 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 mouth and your tongue um uh, wet with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning, make it always your words. Dhikr. Saying, Subhanallah. Praise be to Allah. Alhamdulillah. All praise and thanks be to Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. La ilaha illallah. There is only one God worthy of worship, Allah. And that is Allah. And um, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran to always say, Allahumma salli ala nabi. And subhanAllah, when you when you actually say Allahumma salli ala nabi, you know, you you subhanAllah, you you feel and if and when you you know when you say it sallallahu alayhi wasallam it actually makes you happy like all this dhikr all this remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it makes you happy it's it's like a nourishment for the soul you know so always try to 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 remember allah bismillah Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, Insha'Allah, all these words and 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 all the dhikr, all the verses from the Quran that the 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 um the prophets said, the du'a they made, the du'a the 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 Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, all of these are remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And these were the best examples of the way to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How they did. 
so uh, you see a lot of people and you find that when they're not doing this they're not as happy they there it's there's something missing because they're not mentioning the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's a it's a reminder it's a re, it's remembering Allah because we as human beings we are apt or susceptible to forget forgetting we are we have a forgetful nature about us so we need this constant reminder this constant dhikr and the Quran itself is dhikr so let let us not forget this one crucial thing as we go in our day I mean just because you're at the store just because you're at a friend's house just because you're in the car just because you're all these different places doesn't mean you can't be remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single minute of the day because everything around you it's it's there to remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let's say you see a sunset in the evening you see that sunset and you see how beautiful it is and you're like wow subhanallah you know it's beautiful mashallah you remember Allah because Allah created the sun he made it set he brings it out every day and at night let's say you look at the stars and how they're always shining and they're always in perfect order and you say mashallah and you and you just look up and you're like you know wow we're so little compared to this vast universe and 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 expanding universe beyond galaxies and galaxies and galaxies or let's say you just you make wudu and you you just looking at the water and you're like subhanallah you know this water this water we're using to clean our cleanse our bodies with and make wudu and get ready for prayer how pure and we drink it and there's so many benefits from the hydrogen molecules and oxygen molecules um and you know it's just it's amazing just it's about reflection it's about pondering upon the the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by reading the Quran and and studying all these things that that's what makes people's iman get stronger because the more they learn throughout their life the more their iman will get stronger because not because they're learning but because they're doing it fi sabilillah and they're they're searching for the hikmah the wisdom behind it so just just some words to think about assalamu alaikum everyone